position, play into the box as wow, well. And beautiful. the bomb landed. Walla is going to go down. Fnatic are moving in for the kill here. There's a lot of damage coming in. Cyanide simply repels away. Tons going in. There's the fish coming out. Overpower going to try and escape him, but, well, you can't escape the fish. Destiny called in. Here comes Overpower. Good training. Wildcard's flung out there. It's a 4 for 0 to Rocket. Oh, no, the no. kick! He's kicked him away from his... That was quite the move from SK. You have to... Yeah, that was beautiful. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the European League of Legends Championship Series, broadcasting to you live from Cologne, Germany. I am Lee Demon Smith, and I'm joined by Trevor Quickshot Henry once again as we continue on to our third day of our opening Super Week for the Summer Split. And what a week it has been so far with some very big surprises. Yeah, one of the things that I really love about the European LCS is that it's entirely unpredictable. You know, the first two days of the Super Week have been fantastic, and I expect to see even more excitement today with five games. Absolutely. Before we check out the news from yesterday's matches, but we have a very exciting announcement to make. On Saturday, June 21st, the European LCS is heading to London's SSE Arena in Wembley, of course and we will hit the road as we leave our studio here in Cologne and head to the iconic venue where the, we will be broadcasting week five of the LCS Summer Split live for two days. Yeah, the roar of the crowd at the All-Star Paris 2014 event was mirrored by the crowd today with this announcement. They seem quite excited. And I can't wait for the fans to bring the same electricity to the UK. Come along and cheer for your favorite European LCS teams and players as they battle to stay atop the table. Tickets will be available for the London show soon. So keep checking lolesports.com for more details. Going to be getting a lot of requests for those, I'm pretty sure. That's for, sure. for now, though, let's talk about yesterday's game, starting with the fact that the European LCS continues the trend of teams being able to beat everyone. The Super Hulk crew took down Alliance and Gambit beat SK Gaming. And shockingly, Fnatic a 0-2. Do you think the teams in Europe are evenly matched? So it's quite interesting because I think the skill gap is closer after watching games than I'd originally anticipated coming into the split. But one thing to note is no team can finish the Super Week with a perfect 4-0 record. And I believe it's the first time in European LCS history where a team has not had a perfect Super mm. Week. It is very early on in the split. I think teams will be looking to adapt, looking to practice in better ways during the course of the season. And whichever team can actually learn as the weeks go on, will be in better shape by the time playoffs roll around. As we get into the last day of games, let's talk a little bit about the most popular and successful picks from the first two days. Yeah, it's something I love doing, especially on a new patch and keeping trends in Super Week. AD carry-wise, Lucian is still all the way up there. 11 picks in 11 games, seven wins, four losses. Nobody's surprised by that. Graves has been the sleeper surprise AD carry. He's been picked up by a number of European teams. In the jungle, Lee Sin, Blind Monk, still ever popular. Again, 11 games, 11 picks. Nowhere near as successful, though. Only three wins to his name. Yeah, Thresh also in there as well, of course. Five wins, two losses, seven picks. Up alongside Lucian, always a great partnership. Yeah, we're seeing a couple of different supports. Yeah. Uh, if we go to the top lane, Shivana is sort of back in the mix. We we didn't see a lot of her towards the end of the spring split, but she's risen back up to prominence. Five wins, uh, one loss in the six games. But also, don't forget, Irelia's been there as well. I think she's seen her five times as well. So a little bit more diversity going back to champions we've seen at the beginning of the year, but not in the last two or three months. Wrapping it up is the jungle, undefeated Evelyn. You can't see her coming, she's 6-0, definitely a champion we need to keep our eyes on, and we'll see if a team manages to pick up these stealth champions, it gives you a very big bonus. The one that's not on the cards that we do need to remind everybody about is Twitch. He is just the go-to AD carry. Tab said yesterday, he is the most uh, uh, powerful AD carry in that role, so we'll see if anyone can get their hands on him as well. I think it was 82% ban rate so yep. far, so definitely up there alongside Cassidin from last year, or last spring, I should say. Yeah. Now, though, let's, let's take a look back at the top two LCS big plays that had you guys tweeting up a storm. First up, it was the huge ace from the Copenhagen Wars that led to their victory over Millennium. This came in from at No Moving Coffins. He said, our oh, Airwax awesome flank as Eve to get them an ace 
was just perfect. Loving Wolves, new members. This was your second most talked about play. Coming up from the backside and actually gets a great ultimate off there. Kurt will throw his back up. They're going to get locked up. Finished off in the end by Unlimited. Creighton as well. Focus down at the backside. Wolite a little bit out of position. But the rest of his team coming around. And the Copenhagen Wolves going to wipe the floor with Millennium. Take the ace and they're going to get an easy Baron. Absolutely fantastic team fight. Their coordination and their targeting was just so precise. Didn't lose a single member. Well, that does take us to our next one. It also features the Wolves. This time, they were the ones receiving a beating, courtesy of SK's Jezzes. Now, this one comes to us from at Dale Lee 19 Oh, Jesus, Jezzes! Rocking the Mecha Angel had been a holy performance by SK, and Wolves just met Doomsday. This was your most talked about moment in the European LCS. They've got three members though, and Sven Skerin, he's going to try and get away, but he's going to get locked up. Teleport comes in, Fred is going to join in, Counter-Strike is running, catches on, catches on towards Kautard, invulnerability being used on him as well, Kautard goes down, Youngbuck's going to focus down, Freddy manages to get the kill on towards him, Jez has also picked himself another Unlimited has to flash away, everybody from the Copenhagen Wolves is him. running scared right now, the Dark Binding catches, and Walleye gets dropped down by Candy Panda, Jez is going deep on this one, he gets himself another kill, and that... Dark binding after dark binding, Jez is in everybody's face. And when we listened to sounds of the game yesterday, communication was just crisp and clear, and there was no panic at all. So yeah, SK SK. showing exactly why they are one of the top teams right now in Europe. Yeah, you guys at home, remember to share your favorite moments from the games with us by tweeting to at LOL Esports and using the hashtag LCS Big Plays. So let's take a look at where the teams currently stand at the start of the day. It is a four-way tie for first place, of course. That is Alliance, Millennium, SK Gaming, and Superhot who are all tied at two wins, one loss. Yeah, in fifth position, Gambit are at one and one. Nick in the mid lane. Tied for sixth is the Copenhagen Wolves and Rocket at one and two. And at the bottom of the table at zero and two is Fnatic. And that is not something I was expecting to say on the third day of the summer split. Absolutely not. Here are the matches that will give that table a final shakeup though this week. We'll kick things off with Gambit taking on Alliance, followed by Fnatic versus the Copenhagen Wolves. After that, Millennium and Gambit will face off, followed by Rocket versus Fnatic. And our final game of this opening Super Week will be the Super Hot Crew versus SK Gaming. And if you need more information about the schedule, the teams, the players, head over to lolesports.com where you can find all of that and much more. Yeah, while you're there, you can vote on today's matchups. Just give a thumbs up to the teams you think will win on the schedule, and we'll check in before each game to see how you voted. That's also where you can pick up seats for the matches here in Cologne as well. Just visit the tickets link at the top of the page for all of the information, and come watch the teams compete live right along with us. And get your 140 characters ready, ladies and gentlemen, because we want to know what you can tell us over on Twitter. Which European LCS player will be your MVP for Super Week and why? And it's honestly a question we have to ask ourselves each week as well. It is a question we have to ask ourselves. There is added pressure this week because my MVP is going to be the person that gets me the most fantasy points. <laughs> I have to take down Joe Miller. Anyways, we want your answers, so send them to us at LOL Esports along with that hashtag LCS, and Sharks will read our favorite responses later in the show. So.